Perfect. My name is Rafi Media Villa from criticologos.com. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Warren. Thank you, Emily, for taking a little bit of time to look at the series. I absolutely couldn't stop watching it. I just hit play on the first one and I, I couldn't. I just couldn't. It, just, it yes. hooks you and people are going to eat it up when they see it. I'm absolutely sure. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Amy, Emily, I want to Emily, I want to stay with you because um anyone could play Elena. And I don't think we, we don't necessarily have to call Elena Santos. We don't we can put there put anyone there. But I absolutely have to thank you that you decided to go with a Hispanic side and give the Hispanic uh, community uh a platform. And I want to thank you as a Hispanic person, I want to thank you for that. Because I, I don't I don't believe we are a minority anymore. That's not a question. So I want to know, was that something in, in the project from the beginning? Or did did you did somebody tell you let's go this way or we should go this way? Um, it was in the project from the beginning. I think that was how it was conceptualized. Uh, that's how the character kind of came into the world. Um, and her identity is, you know, very tied up in, um, you know, her family, her background. Um, you know, I think what we tried to do was sort of, you know, make that a, an important aspect of her character and how she sees the world, um, but not, you uh, you know, we wanted to stay away from stereotypes and mm -hmm. we wanted to make her a complex and uh, kind of um, like, a, like a, a character with many layers. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a survivor. Uh, she's extremely clever. She's, um, you know, she's a chameleon, um, but she's also vulnerable and real and her grief is real. Her sadness is real, her joy is real, um, and her passion is real. And, you know, and she's a young woman in a big city and, you know, she's surrounded by hot guys. I mean, it's, you know, it's fun. We wanted to lean into the fun of it. Um, and uh, we were so blessed to find Marielle who is just such a dynamic presence and, and so, um, studious as an actor and cares deeply about the craft and is a joy to work with and you know she she brought that character to life I mean it's uh, and she just she really glows from within it's a it's a joy to watch her um, and uh, so but yeah it's it was it was important to uh, the story yeah. not only here all the family also involved on it so I think the way it worked, the way it was uh, worked, it worked great. So congratulations on that. I love that. Amy, I'm coming to you. Tori has those two two different moods. Uh, he's, she, 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 we see her vulnerable side, but also see her tough side. And I see that as a way to cope with the situation or a, or a, a way to manage everything that's happening. If you can talk to her and, and see that, have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with her, what advice would you give her Without giving too much away, I already seen it, almost everything, so I don't want to give anything away. <laughs> what, what advice would you give her? Because she's going through a lot, and everything about it is really emotional. What would you? What advice would you give her? Oh wow, she she could use some therapy for sure. Um, I think you know, just kind of take a breath mostly and see. Um, I think she has a real defense mechanism of thinking everyone's out to get her and maybe learning to trust people more and learning to be more open and 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 take help when you when you're offered Warren I'm coming to you uh Matthew is completely different from Tori and, and we see them butting heads constantly throughout the, the 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 series but I also see I also think I don't I don't think Matthew is completely aware of what's going on, he's he keeps to himself. He keeps to 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 what he could do to help, and, and that's that's about it. Um, my question is that one: Do you do you think that he's doing that on purpose, or or he's just trying to avoid the situation? I think I think because the beginning of the show starts with such a tragic event that sets everything on its course, and him specifically 
He's just trying to protect his son. He's trying to make sure he's okay. So, uh, you know, I was saying earlier, someone like, I think we don't see him off screen. He wakes up, he takes a breath and he gets dressed and he just goes because he's trying to make sure everything's okay. And so while he might be oblivious to some things around him, he may miss a few red flags with Elena or different people. It's because he's got such tunnel vision, which is his son and protecting his son and trying to heal um, both of them and move forward. And I think that it's a it, it's a very way of trying to look at things because I think if he started to try and juggle too many things, it would all come crashing down. And so when we see things later in the show come about and when we do start to see it penetrate into him, um, you know, you see things unravel a little bit. Um, but I think his main focus is really always just his son and, and trying to heal. Uh, Amy, I want to come back to you. Uh, I want to talk to you uh, about working with Mariela because it seems that the two of you really bonded through the through the series. I can see it through different posts on social media, and I, to me, it seems that you two become best friends throughout <laughs> the whole uh, uh, pro process of filming. Uh, talk talk a little bit about working with her. Did that really help? Did that is what, is this what I'm saying? It is it true? Yes, I love I love her. She was my my set wife. Um, so we we would have dinner together at night. I would be like, I made chicken. Come over, honey. You know. So, um, but yeah, she's she really is such a special person and has I I'm I can't say enough nice things about her. And I don't think you could find anyone on the crew who wasn't affected by her in a positive way. She just brought life to the set and she always was wanting to work harder. She was never like someone trying to get out of there early. You know, she wanted to make it right and make it good and wanted everyone to have fun in the process. And so any chance you get to hang out with Marielle, I, I suggest you you take her up on it. <laughs> I think it, the, the Kermit is translated in screen also. Emily, Emily one question, one point of question for you. I want to talk about, about mysteries. Why does that gender work so well? Why it translates so well, not only in TV shows, but also in, in movies. We have seen so, well, so many murder mysteries, uh, I, I mean, being produced, but they all work <laughs> so well. What is it about this one that you feel it's just, it's just works so well? I mean, I think, you know, one of the questions you get the most often as a writer when you're conceptualizing a show or a movie is, you know, what are the stakes? Like, what's at stake here? What's what are we as an audience going to really care about? And I think, you know, this is, we have a, a story that begins one way and takes you in a wild, like zigzag towards its, you know, sort of the, the um, finale. Uh, but even just within <laughs> it, you know, you're just never bored because there's always something new to learn. And I think, you know, the looking at it as a metaphor, it's like Marielle comes in or Elena comes in thinking one thing, a very black and white view of the world as, you know, the haves and the have nots and never the twain shall meet. And the, the people that have money have no problems, you know, that like they're, they're insulated from things like grief or need or, or, you know, that the mess is just kept at bay and, and these people are just terrible and two-dimensional. And then as she's inside this building, um, you know, and getting to know these people as individuals, her point of view starts to change mm -hmm. and our point of view starts to change. And I think it just, it, it, it sheds light on our shared humanity and the way that it, it doesn't matter, like grief is grief and pain is pain. And, um, it's it it expands her worldview and it's and it changes her and she changes them um, and uh, I think it's as a viewer like the mystery is sort of what keeps you coming back because you're desperate to know the answer um, and uh, but I think the what keeps you there and what makes it interesting is the depth of all the characters. Um, and watching their go, watching them interact with each other, go through their individual journeys, um, and learn things alongside of us. And the challenge with a mystery is always making sure you're not getting ahead of the audience, but that the audience isn't getting ahead of, ahead of you. And that's that's always the challenge for the writers when we're crafting this kind of like slow, 
like peeling away of the layers is, you know, you want to make sure that you keep that perfect pace. Emily, thank you. Amy, thank you, Warren. Thank you once again. Congratulations. I absolutely love what I see. I know people will love it. Oh, thank you. Have a nice day. Take care.